Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair with my Bombay Hair 5-in-1 Curling Wand. So this is what comes in the box. As you can see you get 5 barrels with this collection as well as the wand handle. You also get 2 hair grips, a heat resistant mat and a heat resistant glove which you can use for both hands. And it also includes a little manual and warranty for the curling wand. So this is the wand handle that you use with all 5 barrels. What I love about this handle is it contains a 360 swivel cord, so it means that it won't be getting all tangled up. The top of the handle is the lock dial. When you turn to close it, you'll hear it click. Then you'll know your barrel is secure and locked into place. And then to unlock it, you twist it the other way and it'll click again. All of your five barrels contain two small plastic squares on either side. This is gonna fit directly into the wand handle. Push it in securely and turn the dial to the lock position. Now we're ready to turn the wand on. Press and hold your finger over the middle button and then you'll start to see the numbers on the dial going up. It can get up to a very high temperature of 235 degrees Celsius. I like to keep mine on 190 and you can adjust this by the two buttons either side of the on off switch. When the digital display turns green, you know your wand has reached the desired temperature. To turn your wand off, hold your finger over the middle button again and the display will turn green and flash with the word off. I'm going to be using the pearl barrel for my hair but I thought I would show you the desired effect you can get with the other four barrels using just some extensions. The one I'm using here is the 19mm curling wand. The smaller the barrel the tighter the curl will be. Now remember these wands are very very hot, they're 100% tourmaline so take into consideration your hair type when choosing what temperature to put your wand on. So this is the result after leaving it on the wand for about 5 seconds. The next wand I'm using is called the Reverse. This is 13mm at the base and 25mm at the top. I think this one's ideal if you find that your curl doesn't stay very well at the root because it will be slightly tighter, it's going to hold for longer so when it drops it will still have a bit more of a curl to the root. Again I've left this on for about 5 seconds. This barrel is probably the one I use most often and this is the 25mm and as you can see the curl is a lot softer but it gives more of a wave appearance to it. This is the largest barrel, this is the 32mm and I use this one when I want a wave just at the very ends of my hair. It curls it initially but then it drops and leaves just a beautiful wave. Here they are laid out so you can see the curls in comparison to each other. From left to right we've got the pearl, 19mm, reverse, 25mm and 32mm. So now I'm going to show you how I curl my hair using the pearl wand. I washed and blow dried my hair straight last night and I slept on it. I like to keep it really simple, so initially I separate my hair into two sections, top and bottom. And then I just curl five sections around the bottom, five sections around the top. The reason I do it in such large sections is because I don't like to have too much of a curl. The thicker the hair, the more wavy it's going to look. The first section I take is from the front of my hair to the back of my ear. My wand's ready at 190 degrees Celsius and I've put my heat protective glove on. I place the wand behind my head facing downwards and that way I can wrap the hair in the direction away from my face. When I wrap it around the wand I like to leave about an inch of hair at the bottom. I don't like to curl it all the way down and I leave that on there for about 5 seconds. When I remove the hair from the wand I keep it outstretched while it cools down slightly and this is going to create more of a wave than a curl. Then I move on to another large section and again I place the wand behind my head, wrap the hair around leaving about an inch worth at the bottom out of the wand. Again waiting about 5 seconds and then removing the hair, keeping it outstretched while it cools. The back is the third section and I know this can be tricky for some people, I like to keep the wand at a horizontal angle and then just wrap the hair around it. To do the opposite side of my head I'm taking the glove and switching it over to my other hand and I'll be curling this in two sections so then we've got five sections around the bottom. Same as before I've got the wand above my head facing downwards and this makes it easy to wrap the hair away from my face. Then I take the top section of my hair down and place it into a middle parting. This way I can curl all the hair in even sections and it doesn't matter what side I wear my parting. As you can see I'm doing the back in one section and I'm holding the wand at a horizontal angle. The fact that this curling wand is so light makes it so much easier because your arm doesn't have to ache as much. Like I did with the bottom I'm doing the sides in two sections and then that will equal to five sections around the top half as well. You can't see but I'm actually placing my wand on my heat resistant mat in between each section. It's so handy, I can't tell you how many times I've had to confess to uh, burning a rug here and there. <laughs> I forgot to mention earlier that this pearl barrel is the one that gives the most natural finish to the curls because it's not too uniformed. So if you're anything like me it will probably become your new favourite. 
So this is our last section, apart from our fringe. I like to give my hair a good old shake out before I attempt my fringe because sometimes I like to leave it natural and then sometimes I'll give it a curl. I'm going to curl it today so you guys can see the full effect. I only leave it around the wand for a couple of seconds and it just gives it a little bit of shape as opposed to it being too straight. Now and again I'll leave and wait for this one to cool down and I'll use one of the other ones like the 32mm just to add a little bit of body to the very ends of it. So that's my tutorial on how I use my 5-in-1 Bombay hair curling wand. I have been given a 25% discount code for my viewers and I will put that in the description bar. Thanks for watching!